गुणातीतोक्षर ब्रह्म भगवान्षोत्तम जनो जानम निदम सत्यम मुच्यते बबंदनाथ श्री स्वामीनारायण भगवान निजय अक्षर पुरुषोत्तम महाराज निजय गुणातीतानंद स्वामी महाराज निजय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज निजय महंत स्वामी महाराज निजय Apollo 13th was the seventh crewed mission in the Apollo space program and the third meant to land on the moon. The craft was launched from the Kennedy Space Center on April 11th in 1970. But the lunar landing was aborted after an oxygen tank in the service module failed two days into the mission. The crew instead looped around the moon and returned safely to Earth on April 17th. Their return was not guaranteed and not without great difficulties. Moving to the lunar module, a space meant for two astronauts, not three. An extremely cold and wet environment, trying to sleep in, etc. Having to move into the command module as they came closer to the earth, not knowing if they will have enough water or oxygen to make it back. And because of all of this, there was worldwide headlines and people surrounded television sets to get the latest development offered by the networks who interrupted their regular programmings for bulletins. To the extent that Pope Paul VI led a congregation of 10,000 people in praying for the astronauts' safe return. Not to be outdone, 10 times that many number of people offered their prayers at a religious festival in India. The United States Senate on April 14th, and then later, President Nixon, he passed a resolution urging businesses to pause at 9 p.m. local time in the evening to allow the employees to pray. It is said that the whole world offered prathna for the safe return of the three astronauts. As we can see, in the world during times of hardship, many people reach out to something bigger than themselves for support. We see this during events like wide-scale tragedies, natural disasters, and situations like the ones we're currently facing. Sometimes we may tend to do prathna when we are struggling and when things are not going very well. This highlights our tendency to do prathna when we need something. We may use prathna as a wishing well, which is very outcome-based. Despite prathna being a line of communication with Maharaj and Swami, we fail to show gratitude. We just ask for things. Instead, we should use prathna as a vehicle for furthering our faith and being grateful for what we have in trying times like this. The power of prathna is really up to us because we need to emotionally, genuinely want someone else to feel better, which is what leads us to feeding the fruits of our prathna. One quality of Nirgun Swami is expressed in Sasaji Maharaj's Jivan Charitra is that despite being such an elevated sant, a sadguru sant, he never relied on his own strengths. When devotees came to ask for blessings, he never gave it to them directly, but would say, we pray to Sasaji Maharaj that such prayers come true. Sadguru Santos today have shown that all power and all strength always comes from Bhagwan and Asant. Similarly, we must understand everything that happens does so through Maharaj and Swami's strength and their wish. When we pray, we sow our refuge and faith in them. Pramukh Swami Maharaj has said, Pratna Atmanu Khorak Che. Pratna is the food for the soul. With all the turmoil that 2020 has brought, we might get discouraged. But if we turn our focus from worldly fulfillment to Pratna, then we can see that no matter what, Maharaj and Swami will always remain on our sides. Let's look at a few examples 
from the lives of our gurus so that we can imbibe it into our lives as well. Once in 1990, Brahmukh Swami Maharaj was in London and one night the attendant son was suddenly awakened from his sleep by a mur murmuring sound. Where was the sound coming from? Everybody is asleep. It's 2.30 in the morning. He could hear Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan. He realized that it is Brahmukh Swami Maharaj who is chanting Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan. And for a little while, that attendant son, he sat, he said the prayer with Swami Sri until his patient wore off. And then what did he do? He asked Bapa, don't you want to sleep? Why are you chanting and praying now? When Swami Sri realized that his attendant's awake, he didn't answer. And when the attendant asked again, Swami Sri said, since there is famine in Gujarat, I'm praying so that the rains come and for the happiness of the people and the animals. So then the attendant Sant asked, when do you pray like this? Swami Sri did not answer. Again, the attendant pushed Swami Sri for an answer. Swami Sri said that I pray quite often in the night for those who bring their troubles and problems to me during the day. The attendant Sant was filled with admiration for Swami Sri's compassion and spirit to relieve the pain and sufferings of the soul. Now let's fast forward to June 26, 2017. Mahan Swami Maharaj was in Atlanta. And after his morning breakfast at 8.20, he was getting ready to retire for his morning nap. After a little while, around 9.10, Mahan Swami Maharaj sat up in his bed with his eyes closed. Seeing this, Muni Chintan Swami called Suti Priya Swami and he asked Swami Sri, Swami, Suthayu, Bimarcho, Koita Klivche? Mahan Swami Maharaj replied, Na. So the Sevak Santos, they continued to ask, and as they were concerned, To Suthayu, Kem Betacho? Mahan Swami Maharaj replied, Pratna Karushu. And the Sevak Santos, again they asked, Koni Mate? Swami Bapa replied, Deshma, Etle, India Ma, Deshma Varsad Thai, Ane Hari Bhakto Sukhya Thai Te Mate. So that we have rains in India and the Hari Bhaktas there become very happy and sukhi. The Sevaks asked, How often do you do such pratnas? Mahan Swami Maharaj replied, Dar Roj. Dar Roj Humabite Pratna Karuchu. Now, Pratna, in the broadest sense, is Ashro, or taking refuge of Sriji Maharaj and Mahan Swami Maharaj. The level of our trust and faith in Bhagwan is reflected in the way we perform Pratna. In the Mahabharat, Draupadi's example is ideal. She looked at Yudhisthira, she looked at Arjun, she looked at Bhim, and then slowly she looked at the other two brothers, all of them with their gaze downwards and all she could do, and she realized that she had to pray to Sri Krishna so that he would protect her. What do we do? We go to our friends, we go to the Vishes, worldly objects, we go to these things as a solace for whenever we need something or when we feel uncertainty. Instead, we should always be able to turn to Sriji Maharaj and Mahan Swami because we know they are always there for us. If we truly know that, then Pratna becomes more meaningful since we are confident that someone is always there to protect us. We have trust. Therefore, we have Vishwas. We understand that no matter what is happening, he is doing it for our own good. We may not exactly understand the circumstances we are in or why are we are in them, but Bhagwan is always protecting us. 
how can we practice prajna? They require triggers. We talk about triggers often in Kishore Sabha and in Kishore Mandal. Triggers are those things that help us remember a prasang. They help us remember uh, out what we need to do. For example, the tilak channel or the kanti. They keep, keep us in line. Usually, seeing a murti in the mandir while we're doing darshan facilitates and reminds us to do pratna. Now that we might not have this access to darshan, we might try to think about how we can remind ourselves to do pratna and darshan throughout the day. Remember, all of the Shikabad mandirs are updating their daily murti darshan so that you can have the daily murti darshan that you, you long for. Again, this connects us to the idea of what pratna can do for us. We do pratna because it puts us in a good place mentally. It allows us to focus on the positive amidst anxiety and fear. Pratna allows us to pause and feel a sense of shanti by talking to Maharaj and Swami. It's important to remember that we aren't the only ones doing pratna. It's not just a BAPS thing. Everyone needs a moment to pause and reflect. There are whole industries on meditation and people turn to prayers after tragedy. Pratna as a, is a vehicle for unity. Now we can use that to help us connect to Maharaj and Swami through Ahnik. Because the cornerstone of bhakti is a dialogue with Bhagwan and the Sant, which takes the form of prayer from our end. Pratna is a way of solidifying the belief that Maharaj and Swami are samarth. Everything bigger than ourselves can be fostered by them. So we should get in the habit of praying just like we have a habit of breathing. It should be second nature through our rituals and ahnik. Prayer can happen any time of the day. A prayer when we wake up, a prayer before we eat, a prayer before we take a test, a prayer before we start driving, a prayer when we see a person in trouble or distress, or even a prayer when the whole world is in distress like it is right now. Our go-to should be prayer and bhakti in those moments. Our ahnik is the way to make that habit firm in our lives. Now let us look at some examples of ways we can infuse our ahnik with pratna, especially when we have more spare time, avoiding things like time for commuting or other things that generally occupy our day. Puja. Let us focus on the quality of our puja. We have the time to learn how to concentrate in our puja without any distractions. So let us take this time to make a personal connection to Bhagwan. Satsang reading. Develop our faith by learning about the values Maharaj and Swami teaches us. By satsang reading, we understand the concepts through the lives of Maharaj and Swami and his Hari Bhaktas. We can imbibe this faith in our lives to develop our connection with them through prathna. With our family, we should participate in Garsapa. It's a prathna for unity. Garsapa is a way we are learning to do prathna with our families, our closest community. This week and going forward, we are focusing on prathna. Let us try to put an emphasis on incorporating pratna as a family, whether it be right after the sabha or throughout the week. Also, during Gur Sabha, take some time to discuss the power of doing pratna together. Sri Swami Narayan Bhagavan Anije.
એટલે બધા આ વાત કરીએ ઇબ્રાહમ લંકિનને તો એને બધું એક એક બાજુ હાર હાર ઉપર હતા હારી જવાના હતા પણ એમને કહ્યું કે હું જઈને પાછા આવું છું તમુમાં ગયા એ વોર ફિલ્ડમાં અરે યુદ્ધના મેદાનમાં તો તંબુ જ હોય ને ત્યાં ત્યાં ગયા અને ભગવાને સખત પ્રાર્થના કરી અને પછી આવીને વાત કરી કે આ દિશા માર્ચિંગ કરો સિવિલ વોર જીતી ગયા અને એટલે આવી બધી છે અને ચંદ્ર ઉપર ગયા વ્યક્તિ એ પ્રાર્થના પહેલામાં પહેલું જે લોકો પ્રાર્થના કરી પછી બીજો બધું શરૂ કર્યું અને ઓલા એપોલો તેરમું ફસાઈ ગયો હતો એમાં એવા વાંચે એને પ્રાર્થના કરી અને એ લોકો પાછા આવી ગયા એમાં ઓલા તો પ્રાર્થના કરનાર એ હજુ કે હજુ હું માની શકતો નથી કે આ કઈ રીતે કામ કરે છે એટલે એને કોઈ દિવસ પ્રાર્થના કરેલી નહીં અને પહેલી વાર ફરજ પડી એકદમ ગરજ પડી એટલે એટલે એ રીતે પ્રાર્થના કરી એટલે બધું એટલે પ્રાર્થના તો બધું ફાળે જ છે કોઈ પણ પ્રાર્થના ગમે જે આપણા માટે પણ મારા જે કહ્યું એ શાસ્ત્રી ભાણજી વાત કરી કે પ્રાર્થના નકામી જતી નથી પ્રમુખ સાહેબ પણ એ જ વાત કરી કે પ્રાર્થના નકામી જતી નથી ધારો કે આપણે અમેરિકા દેશમાં જવું હોય તો ડોલરમાં વ્યવહાર ચાલે રૂપિયા કામમાં ના આવે તો એટલે પણ એ રૂપિયા ડોલરમાં ફેરવી શકાય એટલે આ પ્રાર્થના એવી છે કે બીજી રૂપ ધારણ કરે આપણે પ્રાર્થના ફળે છે પણ આપણી રીતે કદાચ ન ફળે આપણે જે રીતે ઈચ્છા રાખતા હોઈએ અને ભગવાનને એવું થાય કે આ પ્રાર્થના ફળે છે પણ આ પ્રાર્થના ફળ ના આપો એટલે એટલે આપણી અવરી પ્રાર્થના હોય એટલે એ ભગવાન ના કરે એટલે પ્રાર્થના તો બળ બધું છે અને ઘણી બધી એમાં તાકાત છે એમાં તથ્ય છે અને મહત્ત્વની છે એટલે આવી રીતે અને પ્રાર્થના ઘણી વાર થઈ જાય છે આપણે કરવી નથી હોતી જો દ્રૌપદીજી ને શું છે એને કોઈ પ્લાનિંગ નહોતું પ્રાર્થના કરવી કાંઈ નહીં પણ અંતરથી અવાજ આવે આર્થનાદ જે આરતી આપણે વાત કરીએ છીએ ને આરતી આર્થનાદ ઉપરથી આવે એટલે એને દ્રૌપદીજીને પ્રાર્થના થઈ ગઈ હોય પછી એમને કહ્યું કે ભગવાન આટલું મોડું કેમ છે એટલે કે તે મોડું કરવું અમે કરવું જ નથી તે બીજા બધાને સંભાળ્યા આમ તેમ આમ તેમ બધું પણ છેવટે પ્રાર્થના થઈ ગઈ અને એમાં બધું કેટલું બધું કામ થઈ ગયું બધાએ પ્રાર્થના કરી શાસ્ત્રીમાં યોગી બાબા યોગી બાબા તો બહુ ધૂન કરત આપણે થાકી જઈએ કલાક કલાક ધૂન કર બધા થાકી ગયા ઝોલા ખાતા આવું બધું થાય પછી સ્વામી બાપા કડે ધાડ પ્રાર્થના કરે એટલે અરે બાપા તો બહુ યોગી બાપા સહેજ સહેજમાં ધૂન ધૂન કરો ધૂન કરો એટલે અને પ્રમુખ સ્વામી મહારાજ પણ ગજબની શ્રદ્ધા વિશ્વાસ એટલે એમાં આપણે પ્રાર્થનામાં તો શ્રદ્ધા વિશ્વાસ રાખીએ અને કામ થાય બીજી આપણે કહ્યું ને કે રૂપિયાને ડોલરમાં ફેરવવા પડે એનો ભગવાન બીજી રીતે એ પ્રાર્થના ફળે છે પણ એનાથી વિશેષ લાભ થાય એવી રીતે ફળે 
અને આપણી જે માંગણી હોય એ કચરા જેવી માંગણી હોય એ ના ફળે પણ પ્રાર્થના ફળે છે એક બીજી રીતે પ્રાર્થના ફળે છે સેદાન સ્વામી મહારાજની